Iron metal reacts with chlorine gas to form iron 3 chloride. Part A, write a balanced chemical equation for the reaction. And part B, how many grams of iron 3 chloride are formed when 231 grams of iron metal reacts with excess chlorine gas? So for the first part, we're going to write a balanced chemical equation for the reaction. And we'll start off by just sort of listing what we have here, and we'll leave spaces to fill in the missing parts. So first we have iron metal. Okay, so iron, that's Fe. So I can write Fe, and then it's a metal, so I can write an S for solid, plus reacts with chlorine gas. Chlorine, that's Cl. And it's a gas, but there's one other thing about chlorine. Chlorine has that I-N-E ending. And remember, things that have an ending of I-N-E or G-E-N, these are diatomics. So what does that mean? And the way you can remember this, they're genuine diatomics, either things ending in gen or things ending in ein. That means that they come in pairs. So this is not Cl, it's actually Cl2 right there. Okay. And that's going to form iron 3 chloride. Okay, so we have to figure out what's going on with that. So iron 3 chloride. So that Roman numeral three, that's telling you the oxidation state of iron. That's gonna be plus three. Chlorine typically has an oxidation state of minus one. So in order to balance this so that we get a total of zero here, uh, for, for every uh, iron here, we're gonna need three chlorines to balance this plus three on the iron. So that means we're gonna have iron uh, Fe, and then chlorine, Cl3. And what is this? A solid, a liquid, a gas? What does it look like? Here's a picture of iron 3 chloride. You can see that this ends up uh, being a solid here. And if you didn't know that, that's okay. But, well, now you can see the picture, so we know that this must be a solid. Now we have to balance it. So let's see, what can we start with? Well, how about the irons? Well, the irons are already balanced. There's one iron here and one iron here. So that's easy. How about the chlorines? There's two chlorines here, three chlorines here. The least common multiple of two and three is six. So in order to get six, I'm gonna to have to put a three here. So I'll put a three out front here, and I'll have to put a two here. But that screws my irons up, but that's easy to fix. Two irons here means we need another two here, and I think it's balanced. Let's check two irons on this side, two irons on that side, six chlorines on this side, six chlorines on this side, we're balanced. Okay, now we're going to look at part B. How many grams of iron three chloride are formed when 231 grams of iron metal reacts with excess chlorine gas? So let's start by rewriting the equation that we had. So that was 2Fe solid plus 3Cl2 gas gives 2FeCl3. And that was a solid. And we have, let's see, 231 grams of iron metal. So we have 231 grams of iron metal. And we want to know, so we want to figure out how many grams of iron 3 chloride are we going to have. So that's the, the basic pattern here. Uh, and we have excess chlorine gas, so this is not a limiting reactant problem. We know we have more than enough chlorine gas for this to work. And in fact, we don't really care too much about the chlorine gas, but we definitely care about the iron and the iron 3 chloride. So let's find the molar masses of these things. So we want to find the molar mass of iron, and we want to find the molar mass of iron 
3 chloride. Okay, so to do that, you can look these things up on the periodic table. Here's iron and here's chlorine. So for iron, well, it's just 55.845. We don't have to do anything uh, to calculate it. 55.845, and this is grams per mole. And how about iron 3 chloride? Well, that's going to be 55.845 for the iron, and that's grams per mole, plus three times, since we have three chlorines, 35.453 grams per mole. And if you do that on a calculator, you end up getting 102.204. Grams per mole. Okay, so with a stoichiometry problem like this, uh, my advice is to always start with what you know. What do we know? 231 grams of iron. So I'm going to start with that over here 231 grams of iron. And I'm going to set up my train tracks here. And we'll fill it in as we go along. So First, grams of iron, and I need to get to FeCl3, but the only way you can convert from one substance to another in a chemical equation is through moles. So before I do anything, I'm going to have to convert grams of iron into moles of iron. And that's where I'm going to use this 55.845 right here. So this is grams per mole. I'm going to want grams downstairs. So it cancels with the grams upstairs over here. And that means moles are going to be up here. So that means that one mole of iron is the same thing as 55.845 grams of iron. And that makes sense using this number. This is 55.845 grams per mole. 55.845 grams in one mole, and the grams will cancel here, grams of iron. Now I have moles of iron. I can convert between moles of iron and moles of iron 3 chloride using the equation. Two moles of iron leads to two moles of iron 3 chloride. So two moles of iron is going to go downstairs, so it cancels with the moles of iron over here. And then two moles of iron 3 chloride will go upstairs. Okay, and now I'm almost done. I have moles of iron 3 chloride. I want grams of iron 3 chloride. That's where this 102.204 is going to come in. So now I'm going to want the moles downstairs and the grams upstairs. So that means 102.204 grams of iron 3 chloride, and let's extend this a little bit, will be in one mole of iron 3 chloride. And that just comes from this. Okay, now I think we're ready to cancel. So let's see what we have. Grams of iron that cancels with grams of iron. Moles of iron cancels with moles of iron. Moles of iron 3 chloride cancels with moles of iron 3 chloride, and I'm left with grams of iron 3 chloride. That's what I want. So if you do this on a calculator, you would get 231 times 2 times 102.204 divided by 55.845 times 2. And there's some ones in here, I'm just ignoring those. And if you do this on the calculator, you end up getting 670. Point nine hundred four nine, and this is grams of iron three chloride. Uh, we had two hundred thirty-one. That's three significant figures here, so we should probably not include all these decimal places here. Your final answer would probably be best best written as six hundred and seventy-one grams of iron three chloride.